Hi, it's Gabby with Quicker Stuff, and today we are demoing the fastest modular aluminum no tools bike rack on the market, the Quick Rack Mach 2. After 20 years, the original inventor, Cal Phillips, secured 14 new patents and license use exclusively to us. We are a Colorado based startup and we source almost every part we make from the region. All of our production, assembly, and machining takes place right here in Grand Junction. Today, we'll be going over all the features, accessories, and installation tips for the Quick Rack Mach 2. Let's get started. The main rack and any additional add-ons you purchase come entirely pre-assembled and shipped in the folded position. In the one bike configuration, the rack weighs in at just 28 pounds. Additional add-ons weigh 22 pounds each. This makes the Mach 2 one of the most simple racks in the market to install, and more importantly, it is easy to do by yourself. You can also fold the entire 4-bike system to fit in your trunk for convenient transportation. No other 4-bike rack on the market offers this level of portability. To unfold the rack, I like to set it lightly on the ground like this, put one hand on one side, grab the other arm, and unfold. You want to listen for the audible snap to know it is locked into position properly. To close it back up, depress the blue center plate and fold it right up. The redesigned hitch is one of the standout features of the Mach 2. These two expandable pads replace the traditional steel ball that would deform hitch receivers over time. This refined version is smoother, more stable, and more durable. The captive safety pin can be removed if needed, is adjustable lengthwise, and can be swapped to either side of the rack. It is also height adjustable on the one and a quarter model and is compatible with most vehicles. In the event the pin is removed, use of a traditional hitch pin is strongly advised. Please note this is not an option on a one and a quarter Mach 2. Please reference the FAQ for more details. Our redesigned hitch lock is super simple to use. Just press the silver button to engage the lock and use the barrel key to unlock. It is worth noting the lock will only engage when the blue lever is in the top 180 degrees. This prevents anyone from locking it in the downward position where it could get damaged. When the rack is not inserted into a hitch, be careful not to tighten the blue lever too far, which can cause the expanding pads to drop out of the rack. Installing the Mach 2 on your car is really straightforward. Just insert the rack into the receiver, pull out the captive safety pin, releasing after it clears the flange. If the pre-drill hole in your receiver is deep enough that your rack contacts the vehicle when folded, it is not a requirement for the pin to be in the receiver hole for safe use, as long as the receiver has a flange. Tighten the blue lever in a clockwise motion until tight, again ensuring it is in the top 180 degrees. It is also important during this step to wiggle the rack up and down to ensure a snug fit. When the lever is fully tightened, it is normal to see a very slight tilt of the rack in the receiver, maybe one degree. This is a sign of the expanding pads providing proper tension inside the receiver. It is normal for proper installation. Press the lock and you're done. Now that we have the base rack properly installed, let's go over installation for an add-on. Grab the add-on by the center and couple the protruding hooks with the silver bars on the base rack. You want to firmly snap the add-on into place to ensure proper engagement. Once the add-on is in place, simply engage the red latches on both sides and press in the barrel lock just like the hitch. It is critical to engage these red levers properly or the add-on tray will disengage from the base rack when driving. To move the rack up or down, hook your finger around the red trigger and pull towards you. When lowering the rack to load bikes, always ensure the release bar seats fully on both sides by wiggling and pushing forward on the trigger. Now that we have our add-on installed, let's load our bikes. Open the arms of the rack by disengaging the red cam so it sits parallel to the glide bar, then pull the arm up. You might hear some noise during this action as the tolerance on this part is extremely tight. Even if it is making some noise, we do not recommend lubrication of any kind. When the red cam is not parallel with the glide bar, it locks in place as a safety precaution. Now the rack is ready for a bike. We are going to load a road bike first. You can see the spools are machined specifically to fit a high pressure road tire. No adapters needed. When loading a bike, I like to secure the rear tire first. This ensures a secure and stable fit while you position the front arm into place. Once the arms are in position, give them both a firm push inwards and you are all set. To access the trunk with bikes loaded, engage the trigger and use the bikes as a lever to lower the rack. Remember to check for proper engagement when bringing the rack up to horizontal position. Cool. The next bike we're going to load is a kid's bike. To do this, we're going to use our tool-free adjustable spools. Loosen the gold lever to remove the bolt, 
bring it to the lower slot in the swing arm and reinstall. The top slot will fit 29 to 16 inch tires. To fit 12 inch tires, installation on the lower slot is required. This is such a great feature for families or folks using multiple bikes frequently. The ability to adjust for any wheel size in seconds with no tools is a highlight feature for the Mach 2. To remove the bike from the rack, reduce tension by pushing the capture arm in towards the wheel. Then disengage the red cam lever and pull the arm open. We always recommend opening the arm holding the front wheel first. Pull the bike off and close the arms. You do not need to actuate the red cam lever when closing the arms. Next, we are loading an e-bike. And to do this easily, we will show you how to mount the ramp accessory. Your ramp will arrive partially assembled. Rotation of the hooks is required. The ramp uses the same hardware and locking system as the add-on trays. It uses the same keys and is carried just like an add-on would be. The first step to loading with the ramp is to open the swing arm all the way past the platform. This allows clearance to hook the ramp onto the edge of the tray. There isn't much sense in making a rack that can carry really heavy bikes unless we provide an easy loading solution. Roll the bike up the ramp and into position on the tray. Remove the ramp and hook it on just the same as you would with an add-on. If your bike has fenders, ensure the tire spools contact the tires above the level of the axle. If you have long fenders on your bike and are worried about cosmetic damage, we recommend a small piece of pipe insulation paired with Velcro to provide protection. In 20 years, Cal has never had an issue securing bikes over the fenders this way. To secure your bike on the Mach 2, you can use our wheel lock accessory. These cylindrical locks install into the rack swing arm and through your wheel set. The lock is designed to face downwards to prevent weathering. We always recommend using these in tandem with a cable lock running through your bike frame for higher protection. The license plate adapter is a unique product that allows you to clearly display your plate when transporting bikes. You can install this mounting bar onto your vehicle and then easily remove the plate from mounting on the rack. Once mounted on the rack, it swings to accommodate both the up and down positions by pushing the plate to the left. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can always contact us by sending an email to sales at quickerstuff.com. Now get out and ride your bike.